Hi guys, today we're practicing our time. So first we'll start with star ball practice. What is the time? Okay, so we start with our little hands. And my little hand is between 11 and 12. It didn't get to 12 yet, so it's still 11. It can't be 12 o'clock. It can't be 9.30. That doesn't start with 11. It's 11.30. So 11.30, we want to check the minute hands. Ready? We're going to count by fives together. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 11.30. Yay! It is 11.30. What is the time? Okay, we always start with our little hands. So our little hand is on the 9. Okay, our big hand is on the 12, and 12 means o'clock. So it's 9 o'clock, not 9.30. 9 o'clock, not 6 o'clock, 9 o'clock. Super cool. It is 9 o'clock. <laughs> What is the time? All right, last practice. We start with our little hands. My little hand is pointed right here at the six. Okay, so it's six, and then my big hand's pointed at the 12. When it's pointed at 12, it means o'clock. So it shows six o'clock. Good job. It is six o'clock. <laughs> Two o'clock, three o'clock, tick tock, four o'clock, five o'clock, six o'clock, tick tock, seven o'clock, eight o'clock, nine o'clock, tick tock, ten o'clock, eleven o'clock, twelve o'clock, tick tock. All done. So now we're going to start our Nearpod activity. The code you need for today is W R U Q L. W R U Q L. You're going to take that code and head over to nearpod.com or the app. Enter your code WRUQL to join. And the first thing we do is always the same. We stick our name in so I get to see all of your hard work. Now, time to the hour. All of the times are going to have my big, tall hands pointed at the 12, and 12 means o'clock. So all of my choices are o'clock, 7 o'clock, 10 o'clock, 2 o'clock, 4 o'clock. Time to the hour. Read the question, find the answer, place the time on the clock. This morning, my sister listened to a podcast. What time did she start listening to a podcast? Okay, we need to look at where the little hand is pointed. Do you see this little hand pointing here? It's pointed at the 10. Not seven. Ten o'clock. Ten o'clock. Okay. Morning is a.m. Remember, if you need a little more space, you can make the pen a little thinner. This afternoon, a city had a car parade. What time did the car parade start? So we need to look at our little hands. You see my little hands? It's on the 2. It's on 2 o'clock, not 4 o'clock. And my big hand is on 12, so o'clock. 2 o'clock. And it says p.m. because it says this afternoon. So 10 o'clock a.m. and 2 o'clock p.m. When you're done circling and filling in your clock, hit submit. Only two pages left to do because you're so smart. Time to the half hour. So for the half hour here, all of the big hands are pointed at the six. Let's check. Big hand on the six. 
Big hand on the six. Big hand on the six. When the big hand is on the six, that means it's something 30. Because we have to count by fives and stop at the six. The big hand tells us where to stop counting. Ready? Five. Ten. Fifteen. Twenty. Twenty-five. Thirty. All right. This afternoon, I had a video call with my class. What time did the video call start? First, we look at our little hand. My little hand is in between the one and the two. It didn't get to two yet. So it's still one, not 11, and not four. So one. Now I have to check and make sure my big hand is telling me 30. I have to count by fives. Count with me. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. The clock shows 130. Let's circle 130 and put 130 on the clock. Now we have to decide, is it a.m. or p.m.? A.m. is the morning because the morning comes first. This afternoon. Afternoon is p.m. A comes first, not the letter P in the alphabet. So p.m. Okay. This morning a teacher wrote notes to give to seniors. What time did the teacher start writing the notes? First, we start with our little hands. It's between the 7 and the 8. It didn't get to 8 yet. So it's still 7. Not 9. Not 11. So now I need to check. Is my big hand telling me to, that it's 7.30? I have to count by fives. Count with me. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. The clock is showing 7.30. 7.30. Okay. Morning. Do you remember if morning is a.m. or p.m.? Morning is a.m. So when you're done circling 1.30 and 7.30 and filling in your clock, you hit submit, and that means you're on the last page. Time to the quarter hour. So that's either our big hand is at the 3 or the 9. If it's at the 3, that means the big hand is saying, stop counting by fives when you get to the 3. 5, 10, 15. If it's at the 9, you have to stop counting by fives when you get to 45. Ready? 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45. So, let's do our last two problems. This afternoon, a school had a graduation ceremony online. What time did the graduation ceremony start? So first, we look at our little hands. My little hand is in between the four and the five, but it did not get to five yet. So it's still four, not one, not two. So now I have to check my minute hand. Is my minute hand telling me it's 415? I have to count by fives and stop when I get to the big hand at three. Ready? Five, 10, 15. So this clock shows 415. Let's circle 415 and write it on the clock. 415. Okay. And afternoon, we need to remember, is afternoon a.m. or p.m.? Afternoon is p.m. Okay, one more left to do. This afternoon, my friend listened to a podcast. What time did my friend start listening to the podcast? So we're going to look, where is my little hand pointing? It's between 1 and 2, but it didn't get to 2 yet, so it's still 1. So it's not 3 and not 5. So now I need to check, is the minute hand telling me it's 145? 145, let's check. I need to count by 5s and stop when I get to the 9. 5, 10. 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 
45. This clock is showing 145. Okay, so let's write 145 on the clock. The last thing we have to do is look at a.m. and p.m. Afternoon, we said on the top, was p.m. So afternoon here is still p.m. So we wrote 4.15 p.m. and 1.45 p.m. And now we're all done. We hit submit and you're done practicing time for today. So it's maybe it's time to relax. Great job.